Hey everyone, it's your friendly Levi. For quite a while, I've kind of ignored podcasts. It's not that I was dismissive of them. It's just that I've never really had reason to listen to them because I've never had something to occupy my time enough to warrant putting something on. Like, I've never had a commute. I've never done chores for longer than half an hour. So I've never had much of a reason to pay much attention to them. But recently, I've started listening to more and more, and now I have a few that I can recommend to you. First off, we have the online podcast. The only podcast on the internet. It's kind of your run the mill topics and questions podcast hosted by Scott Nice, Wonder of Nerd Sync, a channel that I really like and often recommend. Except for my YouTube recommendation video, I don't know how I missed that. And Orem from Orem's Comics. I've only recently started watching his stuff, partially because of the online podcast. Next up, we have My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice podcast for the modern era. Brothers Justin, Travis, and Griffin McElroy all answer your questions and solve your problems. Next up is The Adventure Zone. Featuring all three of those Mackle boys and their father Clint. The first season was Balance, a D&D &D show with a kind of dimension hopping twist. But after some experimental arcs that I would definitely recommend, they've recently started their new season, The Adventure Zone Amnesty, in which they played the power by the Apocalypse RPG Monster of the Week. Amnesty is already seven or eight episodes in, so it'll definitely take some catching up, but there's no better time to get into it. Then there is Wonderful, a podcast by Griffin McElroy and his wife Rachel, and the kind of theme of their podcast is just Talk about stuff that makes him happy. I think there should be more podcasts like that. Then there's Schmanners, an NK podcast hosted by Charles McElroy and his wife Teresa. I'm gonna be honest, I actually haven't listened to that one. But that's the only one on this list. And it's definitely, like, on my list of stuff to look up. And then there's Dynamic Banter, hosted by Mike Falzo and C. Zaragoza. Do you like people that are funny? Because these two are freaking funny. This is actually, like, the first podcast I've actually, uh, looked into, and I still really enjoy it. And those are six podcasts that I would recommend. Happy listening! A recent episode of Mike in the Morning, a morning show style series by Mike Falzo that Snooze Button is a pretty obvious ripoff of. Now, when watching this show, you may have thought, Hey, you're just a guy on YouTube doing a morning show style show with current events. You're just a ripoff of Mike in the Morning. And you know what? That is correct. I really like the format and thought I would try my hand at it. Recently brought out the Kentucky Derby and introduced what I like to call the Mike Falzo Kentucky Derby Challenge. Now, if you haven't heard, Racehorses tend to have some pretty odd names. The challenge is, if you look up the Kentucky Derby from the year you were born in, if you go through every single racehorse name without laughing, you win. So here are the horse competitors in the Kentucky Derby from 1997. First place was Silver Charm, Captain Budget, Freehouse, Pulpit, Cryptostar, Phantom on Tour, if that's not a band name, I don't know what it is. Jack Flash. Hello. <laughs> Concerto. Celtic Warrior. Crimson Classic. Shemmy Davis. And Deeds Not Words. Alright, I think I cracked a little bit on hello. But I think I got a B plus. Which coincidentally is the name of my new racehorse. It's not. I, I don't know any horses. It's a pretty believable name considering all those. So, Mike, why do we win? I'm waiting. So that concludes this episode of Snooze Button. Or is it your favorite podcast? How else you do the Kentucky Derby Challenge? Please feel free to tell me in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, press like. If you want some more, press subscribe. And until then, have a lovely day.